Ah, you have returned students. Well, you're in luck, because this lesson is about the big old ape himself, Donkey Kong. Today we're going to be discussing everything about the old Kong, from why Smash created most of his moves, to why modern Nintendo doesn't know what the heck to do with him. So, let's dive in. Right, big old DK's creation. So, as many of you know, DK was created by Shigeru Miyamoto, also the creator of Mario. Now, as I've said in my previous video, the Donkey Kong arcade game was meant to be based on the Popeye uh, series of comics and cartoons. However, Nintendo couldn't get the rights to it, so they made their own characters with Mario being Popeye, Pauline being Olive Oil, and of course Donkey Kong was Bluto, so that is ultimately who DK is based on. Donkey Kong's name uh, is an interesting one. So Kong, as many of you know, means ape, that's where King Kong comes from. And Donkey is meant to convey stubborn, so he's stubborn ape. So the original Donkey Kong arcade game was a massive hit, with more people to come in to play it than attending the Queen's funeral. However, after just a few sequels like Donkey Kong Jr., Donkey Kong 3, Hold up, did Nintendo just... Donkey Kong kind of faded into obscurity, and it wasn't until 1994 when he was brought back and revived by Rare, who are also the brains behind Banjo-Kazooie. Rare's modern redesign they gave him for Donkey Kong Country was done by Kevin Bayless. This modern redesign had Donkey Kong looking the way he does with his Jimmy Neutron style hair and his signature red tie. However, ever since Rare's last Donkey Kong game, Donkey Kong 64, Nintendo hasn't really known what to do with Big Old Ape. Of course, Rare was bought by Microsoft, and now Nintendo was just kind of been juggling him around. Initially, it seems they'd found stability, with Donkey Kong Country returns on the Wii, and subsequently Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze on the Wii U. But since then, there's been no new games, so who's here to open for one soon? Donkey Kong has been portrayed by several people, including Grant Kirkhope, composer of Donkey Kong 64, Seth Rogen in the Mario movie, and uh, Richard Yearwood in the Donkey Kong Country animated show. In his own series, the Donkey Kong that we see in the modern games isn't actually the Donkey Kong we saw in the arcade game. No, that's actually Cranky Kong, Donkey Kong's grandfather. In the series canon, Cranky Kong was the original Donkey Kong the first, and Donkey Kong Jr. was Donkey Kong the second meaning the Donkey Kong that we know today is Donkey Kong the third, the son of Donkey Kong Jr. and grandson of Cranky Kong. Sorry, it's not that complicated, but the way I was saying it made it sound like a Kingdom Hearts plot, so apologies. Anyway, Donkey Kong's often seen with a companion in the country games. Of course, it's none other than Diddy Kong, his nephew. Which is a bit unusual for your nephew to be your best friend, but hey, each to their own. Donkey Kong has also got his own significant other, the big old ape, other than Candy Kong, who, I've got to say, has probably got one of the weirdest designs for an animal in any game I've ever played, but... Donkey Kong also has his fair share of foes. Obviously, Cranky Kong has a rivalry with Mario or Jumpman, whatever you want to call him, and Donkey Kong himself has the greatest rival of King K. Rule. However, he's had a few others, like Lord Frederick, or uh, Tiki Tong. Right, now his history in Smash. Donkey Kong is one of the original from Smash 64, he's been every single entry since. However, his moveset is actually, most of it, is Smash original. Because at the time, Donkey Kong's only real appearances where we'd see him do moves was in the first three country games, and he wasn't even in it for that long in the second and the third. In the first game, he mainly just does rolling, which was incorporated into his dash attack. However, most of his special moves and other moves are pretty much original. His down B has him slamming the ground, which has been incorporated into the really modern country games, and his up B has him kind of do a helicopter spin which I don't really think has been incorporated into any other Donkey Kong games, and I think his neutral B, which is a charged punch, is also Smash Original, and his side B is also Smash Original, where he pounds the opponent into the ground. The reason these haven't been changed is because, like most Smash 64 
the characters. Their movesets just aren't really updated in recent entries, which is a shame. And I would like to see in the next Smash game, if there is one, all the 64 fighters just get a total revamp in their movesets. Oh yeah, Donkey Kong's final Smash. Well, in Smash uh, Brawl and Smash uh, 4, his final Smash is based on Donkey Kong games on the GameCube. And in Smash Ultimate, he releases a flurry of punches, which is based on Donkey Kong Jungle Beat, also for GameCube. Well, the lesson's pretty much almost done. But first, I've got a question. Which country did Donkey Kong originate from? Nope, wasn't Japan, it was the flipping Donkey Kong country, you fool.